So where is Haile Selassie's crown? Now, I had addressed this in a previous video and I was looking through this picture folder. Let me show you this right here. Okay. Let me start with um, this, the icons, some crazy icons in this Ethiopian churches. You can see that the spiritual warfare attack, the spiritual um, fascist, fascist spiritualism invasion, the whitewash, really is coming in strong. Let's just show over here. We looked in this and we was looking at this and said, oh my, oh my, what's going on here? All right. And here in them hearts says, and then uh, unnamed. What well, unnamed? It's not name. I am my father. We are one. Mm-hmm. Right? They will you say the father. Right? Say them the father of lies. But that's not the point of this video here. You know? So they're forsaking the true iconography. You know? It was like a very nice place they built right there. But as we start to check the icons, icons are very, very important. We're in an iconic warfare. People talk about symbolism, right? Well, the icons is very, very important. You know, the icons have always been very important. You know, of, well, let's touch on this right here. Where's Halle Selassie's crown? So first you see this right here. They say this is your Nugusa Neges. Dagmawi Menilik Barneta. So here's like a hat, you know, of um, a Barneta of Menilik the second. Menilik, you have a Menilik the second. Dagmawi Menilik, the king of kings, right? It's all right. So here we zoomed in on this. This is your Tege Taitu Zod. The Zo, the crown of Etege, Etege Taitu, Etege Taitu. So we look at this, we say, oh wow, okay, they have this, yeah, yeah, within a kind of a museum-like setting, no doubt in Ethiopia, yeah, you know, so we looked at this and we said, all right, we just, we was, it was scrolling through here, all right, well, this right here, this right here, and also this says right here, this is Yeah Nagusa Negest of the King of Kings, Dagmawi Minulik Zo, the crown of Minulik the Second. So we zoomed in here. I think we have seen this before. Right? Very, very interesting. What's right here? The crown, right, of Dagmawi Minulik. But where is Hala Selassie's crown? Where is Kadamawi Hala Selassie's crown? Then we saw this right here. Right? So you first zoom in right here. And it says, Yeah, Nagusa Nagas of the King of Kings. That's the goodest construct. Nagusa Nagas. Nagusha Nagas. Nagusa Nagas. Kedamawi Haila Salase Zod. So this is said to be Kedamawi Haila Salase Zod. The Zod is the crown. Right? But then I was like, wait, I looked at it, I said, what, what, what is this? What's this? Whose crown is this? They're saying that this is Gormawi Nugusa Neges Gormawi Haila Selassie's Zod, his crown. So what, 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 I said, what, what in the world is this? So I'm looking at it, but the thing that caught my attention, did it catch your attention? See how I scrolled to some of the false, you know, the Christos to call me iconography that snuck up and crept up, you know, the fascist spiritual invasion of Ethiopian hearts and minds, destroying the ancient iconography, right, and following the ways, the broader way, right, hopefully they repent, because narrow is the gate, but here, I said, whose crown is this, whose crown is this, and I zoomed in, I said, wait, what the, what the, now they, see, now they're pretending and telling everybody that this is, now it makes me wonder about the other artifacts I showed you. Does anybody know what Hala Selassie's crown looked like? Let's look at this again so you can see the full picture right here. All right, full picture right here. They say that this is Emperor Hala Selassie's crown. Yeah, Nagusa Neges, Kadamawi, Hala Selassie, Zod. 
and then we zoom in and we see this on here i'm like i've never seen this a picture like this on the king of kings crown so i had to just check it again whose crown they say this is they say this is in nugus neges katamawi haila salase zaud it's his zaud right i said oh no 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 so here's where i go right here I said, did I have any pictures? Why? Right. Let's start out with with this one right here. Well, this one you can't see the full of full of the crown. Okay, can you see the crown here? It it just it just looks different. Right? Maybe it's not clear in this particular picture here, but this is Nagusan Garmawi. Garmawi Nagusan Nagas. His Imperial Majesty, Garmawi Nagusan Nagas. Katamawi Haila Salasi Zod. Right? Neho, neho, behold, look and see. But here, let's come out of here for a moment and let's look at some of the other pictures. Just some close up shots right here. Now, you see this part here? This is the front part. Doesn't look like what we were seeing with that little picture. We see a lot of the Ethiopian um, popes, you know, their church fathers, you know, doing that, you know, with those pictures. And they tend to be a lot of whitewash. But be that as it may, you know, let's go over here. Now, this is a good picture, right? Very good picture. Christos be Nugusawil Bahri, right? Christ in his kingly character. Let's look at this right here. This is Hala Selassie's crown. Can you behold the difference? Now, we didn't even take the time and do a split screen. You know, we could have done a split screen. And I think that's what we got to follow up with. Look for even a clearer you know, historical picture of Karamawi Haile Selassie Zod, Karamawi Nugus Neges Zod, the King of Kings, his Imperial Majesty's crown. This is his Imperial Majesty's crown. Now you see the you see the side pieces that cover the ears, right? And you see how large that piece in the center is. That's Kedus Georgis, right? That's like the Saint George, Saint George slaying the dragon right there. You know, you can even see this a little clearer in some of the other pictures. But we want to show you the difference. Like we said, we didn't do the split screen. We said, you know, let's just go for it. Where's Hala Selassie's crown? Right? Because they're saying that this is Hala Selassie's crown. Do you see a difference? We see plenty of differences. You know, and there are plenty of pictures as well. Right? To show. So this definitely going to have to be like a contrast, like a, you know, side and side. Where's Hala Selassie's crown? Is this Hala Selassie's crown? Look what's in the center. Look what's in the center. What is this? What is this? We've never seen this on His Majesty's crown. But what's clear and evident, because we think we got these same pictures, you know, from the set of pictures over here. These are some of the same pictures, right? We think it all was connected with this. Though it's not um, Jonas Neguse, right? But you can clearly see that they're taking the Western Gentile iconography, right? And not having the decency, right? But just, just like a, out of a slavish emulation. This is what it speaks about, right? It says, ye Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword, right? In Zephaniah, Zephaniah, right? Chapter 2, verse 12. Check it out. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 12. Right? And then they have the audacity to put the Ethiopian writing. So they're putting their own people under a spell. Right? You know, while they were the ones, the Ethiopians of the imperial times, of the king of kings times, they were the ones that many of our ancestors looked to for a true testimony. Right? of Jesus Christos, Yeshua HaMoshiach, of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, as well as black people with a Judeo-Christian history and root, and especially for the iconography. It was to Ethiopia, right, that not just us, but others in the world saw, right, some of the ancient black icons. And now to see this in some of these modern churches, they're just taking the same things over here in the West. You know, it's only going to say that the 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 pig, after you wash it, right, it wallows in the mud and the dog, he returns to his vomit. It's what we see here. And here they say, I and the father, and, yeah, I and the father is one. 
Well, we know that this is Caesar Bogiers, right? And his father, right, was with Rodrigo Bogiers, Pope Alexander, or whatever his name was, but he's a devil, right? A devil is a slander and a liar. This is a slander and a lie. Remember the verse from Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 12. This is one of the reasons that verse is there in the scripture. Because as it says in Psalm 87, right? In Psalm 87, right? Verse 4. What does it say in Psalm 87, verse 4? Right? What does it say? What does it say? Right? I will make mention, right? Of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia with Tyre, right? Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. Right, and here, 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 Haile Selassie, right, Emperor of Ethiopia. Let's look at this right here. You can see this is a little bit clearer just to see the outline. Remember the, the air covering pieces. In that other picture, there's no air covering pieces. It's not the same crown. Basically, it's not the same crown, but they have it on display. Hmm, careless Ethiopians. They have it on display with a sign Saying in Nagusa Nagast, huh? Kadamawi Haila Salase Zod, and they're representing as truth, right? What is a lie, right? But this is this is one right here. Just see this right here. Look at a few. This this even brings it out even a little better. Look at this one right here. You can see the outline of it, right? Now you don't see the ear coverings right here. Right, those side pieces to cover the ears. Right, but just the show ones right here. This is another, but this is not as even accurate. Right, right, because these are different crowns and different seals from different times. Right, that's okay, that's more symbolic there. But let's look at some actual pictures. But here, this is a serious question what happened to Nagusa Nagas? Kadamawi Hala Selassie's crown. Here is an icon right here when being crowned. You can even see when being crowned right there in the center part is the St. George, the Caduceus Georgis, the Caduceus Georgis emblem. Now, we may not have sharp, sharp pictures here, right? But we can show you the difference between iconography, right? And we can show you the picture that his Imperial Majesty commissioned of this single Marian, right? The knowledge why get touching Jesus Christos that he commissioned of. Oh, this is a good one right here that he commissioned of Our Lady, the Virgin Mary, and her son, right? Even according to the ancient testimony, you know, within our we can say within our ethnicity. And that Ethiopian, that Ethiopian Hebrew ethnicity. So when we see these pictures creeping, because some will say, oh, his majesty, this and that, you know, because they lie, 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 lie. Just as they're lying on his crown, right? Where is Halas Lassi's crown? You see that center part there? As you zoom in, you can see that outline of St. George. That is what's there in the center. That is what's there in the center. And you can even see the top part here, right? It's much different. It's a clear cross. All right. Once again, brothers and sisters, just to touch on this right here, we're looking through our folder and seeing what we have. So this is what it's this is what they're trying to make us believe. All right. This is the make believe here. All right. You could tell that this is nothing. Notice that the emblem of, of Georgis goes across at least from the bottom. You could say the bottom um um, plaiting, you know, or the bottom, I was going to call it, like, not a rib, but the, the braiding, right? The bottom braiding, right? There's a bo there's three circles, right? Three circles, right? Right there. They say with the triple crown, but three circles. So it goes over the center one, right? In the authentic, in the authentic. We did a video before, and it was another crown. I don't know where, somewhere in Ethiopia that they were trying to make believe. Look, this is the actual picture. This is this is it here. This is the actual picture. You see that center part? You see how the ribbing is? Remember I point out the ribbing there. You can see it's totally different. 
it is similar. Well, not, not really that similar. Maybe generally. Generally, it's somewhat similar, but it's definitely not the same. So the question is, where is Gurmawi Nagusa Neges Gurmawi Haile Selassie Zod? Yetale, Yetale. You know, where is it? Where is it? Can you clearly see this right here? Like we said, we was going to do a split screen. Right, to show it. But hopefully this demonstration right here, this is just a little, a little demonstration, brothers and sisters. I'm trying to look through the available pictures we have in this particular suitcase. You can even see it kind of clear right here. It's totally different. The ribbing is totally different. You can see this has like these kind of like fringes that come down right there. Right, it's not the full picture right here. But you all all know there's some very good pictures, very clear pictures. Right, we can see it here as well. You can see this center section. Notice that center section. See how large it is? It's totally different from what they want to make us believe at wherever that at. Is that in Ethiopia or museum or palace or what, what have you? But it's a lie. It's very fraudulent. And this is not the only example, just to say this here. This is not the only example of such blatant lies by this generation of careless Ethiopians. Not all, not all, not all. Not all. We're not saying all Ethiopians, right? But the inaction and the silence, right, to these lies that are being perpetrated, right? Deceiving, right, another generation of Ethiopians, right? Where is Haile Selassie's crown? Where's his crown? Did, did, did they sell it? Did they give it away? What what happened to it? Why right? did it disappear? Why right? where is Haile Selassie's crown? All right? But it kind of just goes to show when we touch on how Ethiopians have been deceived by these counterfeit icons, right? Because it's a fascist, right? It's a kind of like a I say it's covert, right? For most people it looks it's covert. They don't see it. Right? What we see here is very, very overt. So any good picture that you find of the coronation, and there's many of them, right? And they show you the crown right there, the actual crown. Many photography, you know, many photographs, you know, many different angles. What you can clearly see is this is not it. This is what they want to make us believe is Hala Selassie's crown. It's a shame. It's a shame. Shame. This is a shame. And then we zoom in on the center icon, and it's not Kedus Georgis. Kedus Georgis. I tell him. All right? It's not. What is it? All right? What is it? Wh whose crown? Whose crown is this really? And it's clear because the Imperial Majesty chose, Gormawi Nagus Neges, chose that Kedus Georgis, St. George, or, or the Holy Earth Worker. I give you the interpretation, folks, all right? Holy Earth Worker, that's what Georgis would mean. Well, Kedus Georgis. Kedus set apart holy Georgis. Gia, like you say, Gio, like Geo, like to say Geo, Earth, Orgis, right? Georgis, Earth Worker, right? And that's the symbol that on his crown, the coronation crown, right? I think on the king crown, because it was a king crown, and then there was a coronation crown. And the pictures that we have, if I recall correctly, on both of them, we have the symbol of Kedus Georgis. Question, is this Kedus Georgis? Is this, is, this, is this a picture of Kedus Georgis? Who is this? What is this? And what's going on? Where is Haile Selassie's crown? What have the Ethiopians done with Haile Selassie's crown? Where is Haile Selassie's crown? Haile Selassie's crown, where is it? What have the Ethiopians done with it? Why are they perpetrating this lie, this deception? Now I want to actually find the previous video that we did. Right? I forget how long some of the brothers and sisters might be able to help remind me. You know, but there was another video we did because we came across other false information where they had a pseudonymous crown, right? And they were parading this around as though it was Hala Selassie's crown. Oh, it was um, Itege Menin, right? Ketamawit, Waleta Georgis, right? Her Majesty, right? The first daughter 
of Georgis, of the earth worker. So we know that Georgis is very, very significant. And it should be obvious to any and all. When I saw this here, I had to look at it like once. I had to look at it like twice. And the first thing that came out when I spoke, one of the first things I can recall was, where is Hala Selassie's crown? Right? And I said, wait, didn't they do this before? Right? If it wasn't his majesty, but I've seen some crowns out there where they say, oh, this is Hala Selassie's crown. It's in some Ethiopian museum. I said, what, 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 what at? What at? What that? You know, what is that? What is that? And then it's like, I would expect that other folks must have looked at it. Even other Rastafari. Any Rastafari out there? Other Rastafari would have looked at it, you know, and done due diligence. See, this is what we have to pay attention, right? That's the price of the truth. Pay attention. Even paying attention to detail, right? This is clearly not the same crown for a for a variety of reasons. I was like, what this? Right? And then it made me wonder, well, since we know that this is not Hala Selassie's crown, that they're trying to make believe that it's yet Nagusa Neges Katamawi Hala Selassie Zod, whose crown is it anyway? Someone else is not getting credit for their own crown. And where is Hala Selassie's crown? So brothers and sisters, you know, it wasn't all kind of prepared to go into anything in super length or super depth right here. Some of you may appreciate love that as well, because I think this is a very, very significant point, right, to be, you know, addressed. I'm seeking to find some, some other picks, right? Let's go over here, just on the outro right here. Okay, here you can see this is the crown, right? You can even tell from this picture. Even this picture shows you. Right? And it said that, you know, pure gold. Right? So you just gotta go wonder. Because that other that other crown don't seem like no gold. Right? It, it seems like like brass or something. I don't know. But it doesn't seem like this crown here. This is an actual picture of the King of Kings crown. Right? No cross, no crown. Right? The King of Kings Christ. Yes, sir. Rastafari. Yes. So right here, here, here. This is the crown right here, right? And now over here, even at other levels of authority, right? Rideship, princeship, you can see this is another crown, right? This is another crown, but you can tell by on the right hand, you can tell that it's not what they're showing us. And you see those fringes that come down? It's very important to understand those fringes, right? And to recognize those fringes on the original and the authentic crown right that we get in the pictures right the historical archival pictures but then when the ethiopians right you can even see it over here you can see two of them one is on top of the throne right there and one is in the the back of the you know the seat back cushion right there from the the arma the personal insignia of so where is Hala Selassie's crown? What have they done with it? Right? Where did it go? Right? Where is it? You know, who knows? Right? But we need to, you know, now see this is one of the churches here, if I'm correct, one of the more authentic church iconographies. Here, you can see this very clearly, all right? Now, isn't this clear? And if I'm correct, this goes to the time of the King of Kings, right? And Amal with Hala Selassie, these icons right here. You can clearly see the Savior, right? You can clearly see Yeshua. You can clearly see him as a, we can say, a black man. Let's just keep it live and direct, all right? As a black man, a melanated man, Negro Christos. We see him as the Negro Christos. All right, so I just want to show you some true right, iconography right, of the true church. All right, we talk about the true church and the professing church. This is just another angle right here, but you can clearly see. All right, well, there, that center part does block it out, thing holding the chandelier. All right, down here. And look, the so called, you know, I want to say the devil, all right, 
you know, is in green. <laughs> you know, like the money is in green, right? You got to conquer that money. You got to conquer the devil. You know what I mean? So even right here, right? Well, some of these we know go goes to the time of his majesty, right? You know, some of these paintings, iconography, and we can see it more within the indigenous, you know, imagery and more according to Christ's true humanity and not the counterfeit, not a Caesar Bogiers alike. I think this one is probably one of the better ones, but you can kind of clearly see right here, you know, this kind of eschatological, you know, I think that's this modium over there on the other side, if I'm correct. Um, or could that be, uh, well, we, we have to look at it the other way around. But just to give you a kind of a view, right? This is like in the dome, right? This is in the dome. Now, this church right here, I think it was taking different churches. We don't know about this one right here. You know, no, no, no. I think this is one of those other ones, right? Now, this one right here is interesting too, right? This is a kind of apocryphal revelations kind of chazon yohanan, apocryphal ones done in the time of his majesty. And here you can clearly see his crown. And everywhere you see his crown properly rendered, you will see where it's that circular part and that Georgis part. Although it's not very clear right here, right? Just want to show this right here, right? Here is a kind of another version of it somewhat a darker version of it, but you can clearly see the lighter part in the center, that's the Georgis part. And you can see how it goes from the bottom kind of band to the second band, covering over the second band. It's between the, the three bands and covering the second one. We see that picture of whatever, whoever it is. And here's to show this picture behind his Imperial Majesty here. It says, um, is this in French? Okay, it's describing the picture, you know, the apocalypse, right? Right, this apocalyptic picture, right? That's why we did the next reason, man. Did Hollis Lassie know who he was? Did Hollis Lassie know who he was? You know, because some would say and try to make it be as though the call chosen and faithful Rastafari, like we are making something up. Not the call chosen and faithful that studied to shoot himself approved to highlight him. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe others that may vainly come in the name, but the call chosen and faithful, all we have to do is point to the point to the evidence. You say, what's your source? There's a source right there. Right? There's a source. Use this as a resource. You can see behind him right here where this picture is. Right? So it's clear. Did he know who he be? This is the apocalypse. What's being described in the painting behind him is the apocalypse. Right? Or what we can say is Christ in his kingly character, the second advent. Now, I think this is the same place that His Majesty was. I think I was surprised to find this right here. The painting is still there. You know, the painting is still there, right? We don't know the exact place it is at, but when we found these pictures, we said, let's, you know, let's share this with family right here. But the main thing we're zooming in on is the crown, right? The crown. Where's Haile Selassie's crown, right? Where's his crown? Where they're hiding at. This is the room. Right? I think off the page, uh, like I said, I, I don't recall exactly where this was. I think it was on the Facebook. As we went, you know, we started to deep dive, as it were. But you can clearly see even more of this particular picture. Right? A much fuller view of this particular picture. It's like there's like some war and, you know, there's like a war in heaven. This is Revelation. Right? The sky opening up. This is revelation. Right? That son of man, that man child. This is revelation. Right? Revelation reveals the truth. And it's like you see, it's like a classroom right here. So we showed you the picture over here where His Majesty is actually here in this very same room. Right? We can say that's then. Right? And this picture is fairly recent. I think it's in the. You know, definitely the 2000s, I think the 2020, sometime, give or take, right? You can clearly see this is more the fullness of the room. Okay, I got to I gotta get some more battery time. Didn't even know I was going to go this long, brothers and sisters. But, you know, the question is still somewhat, you know, some would say somewhat baffling. 
don't be baffled, but it's it, it's it's a good question, ain't it? Ain't this a good question? Of where is Haile Selassie's crown? What have they done with it? And why do they keep lying to people? People come there. How many people do you think came there and looked at it and said, oh, this is Haile Selassie's crown? And didn't even know that they was being duped. Right? They was being made, you know, they was being made a fool of. Right? Do the Ethiopians know that they're lying? Need we ask that question? Do the Ethiopians know that they're lying? Right? And they have been lying. Right? Or are they also being lied to? Has somebody told the Ethiopians, yes, this is Haile Selassie's crown. And if that's the case, why don't they know? Right? It's like a who knew what when sort of a thing. So you can clearly see this is the fuller picture where it is in this some type of a classroom setting. Yeah, this is around the COVID time. You can see ones are all masked up. That's kind of good for the historical record. So we can clearly see, wow, historically back then and even now. You know, these are some precious things and we give thanks for the for the careful Ethiopians preserving these things. Right? Yes, yes. Discipline keeps you growing. Yes, brothers and sisters. So here, 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 we're gonna sum this up right here. Once again, what are we saying? Right? What have we been trying to, you know, bring forward right here? We've been saying that we was looking at a couple of pictures. Right, they say this is the hat, right? Bardenate uh, of Dagmawi Minulik, Minulik the second. You know now because of, you know the the fake crown that they're saying is Hal Sasi's crown, and making me now wonder whether this is really Minulik the second hat. It probably is, right? Because it's almost like there's a blame Hal Sasi first kind of cult out there, or hate Hal Sasi first kind of cult, right? Or put out disinformation on Hala Selassie, the first cult out there, right? And we got to expose that. Yeah, Tege Taitu Zo. They say this right here is uh, Tege Taitu, the, the crown of Tege Taitu, the consort of Dagmawi Minulik. We don't really know, right? Now, they say this is the crown. Now, it's going to make me now really study this crown right here Right, study this crown and then compare it with all the known photos of Emperor Minulik, Dagmawi Minulik wearing a crown. Right? And then after we saw this one right here, we said, okay, we accepted the first three without any question. Then we got over here and I said, oh, what is this right here? And I said, wait, is this saying, yeah, Nagusa Neges, Katamawi, Haile Selassie, Zod? Is it saying that this is Kadamawi Haile Selassie Zod, his crown? And I said, what's that in the center right there? I said, what, 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 what is that? And I said, this is not, I said, wait. So, I, you know, you know, when you kind of, you look, right? And then you say, okay, what they say down here? And then you look up here. And he said, no, 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 no. Let, let me look again. Haile Selassie. Haile Selassie, the first crown. Is this in a French museum somewhere? I see the French right there. Isn't it's definitely not, right? And just once again to prove this thesis right here, 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 we can go to this one, right? The Arma or the personal insignia, right? Throne room. You see this likeness. You see how big the Georgis is in the center. Right, how big is in the center? Okay, then we can go to this one right here. This one actually brings out some things, even though the size, right, would seem a little larger, but you can tell it's Georgis in the center right there. All right, and let me go over here. Okay, let's, let's bring this one up. And then this one over here, right, which is probably even better right here because you can kind of see it a little more clear right we showed you the black and white one as well where is Haile Selassie's crown to be found 